Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. It is two weeks after our Worcester John Deere show. Things are still a little bit awry in here. We don't have a whole lot of space because we haven't got everything uh, put back away and all that good stuff. But I'm going to try and move some things around right here. And uh, I'm going to take the engine out of this 420 or at least pick it up some. Uh, pull the platform back off of it and uh, dig right into it because it needs a new drive shaft and uh, instead of having it around and not being able to use it I'm just going to get it done so as I can use it so I'm going to try and get some things moved around here so that I can get this maybe over here or over there or something and turn this tractor around right here and uh, get everything taken apart enough to get that back apart. So this is going to be quite the long video, I would guess, already. Um, I just decided I'd dig back into this today instead of just letting this tractor sit around. So uh, this is going to take quite a while, uh, probably a week to get everything apart and figured out exactly what I need, and then I'll have to find and wait for parts. So uh, this is probably going to be a while. Uh, today is July 3rd. Uh, it's a Sunday and I am going to start digging into this. So I'm going to get some stuff moved around here and we're going to see what we can get done. And that should be the last time it runs till it's got a new drive shaft, hopefully. <sighs> Gotta pull the platform off, unbolt the engine, and uh, I'm not sure how far out I'm going to take the engine, if I'm just gonna unbolt it and leave it sit right there, or if I'm gonna pick it up a few inches, or what the plan is yet. It looks like I can hook on here on both sides and put the cherry picker to it, so uh, we'll figure that out. But uh, that's about as far as I'm gonna get today, I think. It's quite hot out here, and it's already three or four o'clock in the evening, so I'm gonna do some other things, and uh, I might get some more stuff done on this tonight, but we'll see. Okay, it's later the same day. It's about 7.30 now, maybe eight o'clock. Um, I'm going to get back into this tonight and hopefully get everything done. I have a friend of mine coming over to help. Not sure if he wants to be on camera, so it might be a time lapse. I'm going to start out by time lapsing it and taking the platform off before it gets here. So let's get right into that before I get copyrighted for the music in the background. Okay everybody, today is the 5th of July. We got some stuff done the last couple days. I didn't film it because my buddy did not want to be on camera and I was too lazy to set up the camera for another lame time lapse. 
So basically what we did was we took all four bolts out of the engine right here. And then these are the drive shaft bolts right here, and the platform bolts. So we got the platform off, unbolted the drive shaft, unbolted the engine, slid the engine forward, and then we were able to get the drive shaft out by lubing it up and prying on both sides. It is supposed to have a set screw, it's threaded in here, and uh, splines are all right on one side, but the other side they're kind of missing. You know, that's usually important to have those. So, uh, my guess is the uh, set screw fell out and they just kept running it. So, the splines on the transmission do not look happy. I've been getting a couple people's opinion. They said you could use them. It, it would just wear out the new drive shaft. So, not 100% sure what I'm going to do yet. I think I would like to just replace that shaft, but I'm still, I really don't want to take the transmission pump out. I'm not sure yet if I have to take the transmission out to do so. I think it should bolt on the front, but I'm not sure yet. I might just try and run it, crank the new set screw down a lot. We'll see, but this is how far I've gotten. I got the drive shaft out and it's clapped a lot. So, if anybody has any uh, thoughts on that, it'll probably be too late by the time this video is out, but drop them down below for the next one that I do. I did take this valve out, if you remember, when we got the tractor running. I didn't take it out to get it to come back up so I did do that and uh, got all that apart but there's your self an update for today I'm going to hunt around and get some parts ordered and uh, get her back together probably be a couple weeks okay guys today is the 17th of July the drive shaft is in the engine is bolted in New drive shaft is all hooked up. No wiggle. I need to grease all the uh, joints or the uh, grease circs. And uh, currently, I can start it. Well, actually, I can't because there's no gas tank. But I'm going to get the rest of this put back together, grease it first, put everything back together on a time lapse. I'm not going to bother you and bore you with the greasing like John does, but I'm going to grease it and then put you guys in the time lock, get it all put back together, and then we're going to drive it. Okay, I greased this, this, and this. Everything else I greased when I got the tractor. So let's go right into a time lapse. Let's get it put together.
Okay guys, it's later in the evening. I have been working on this for a little while. I got some help from a guy on Facebook. If you're watching, you know who you are. Uh, so apparently that thingy in there is some sort of starter helping thingamajig kit. Don't understand the wiring on that. So uh, he hasn't told me yet exactly where they go. He told me one goes, you know, such and such and such and such, but not sure which ones. So I just put my gas back in it. Everything's together. Except for this is getting stuck up here. So uh, I had to move the fuel pump up a couple of inches from this bolt to there. That's okay, it went in there. Line's not pinched. So I am going to get this thing uh, primed up and started. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna prime the reserve. I hear fuel getting up there. Let's prime the main. Okay, Let's see if it's primed up good enough to fire up. not let it prime some more vibrations All right, well, that's a wrap for the video today. Thanks for watching. I will catch you guys on the next one. Uh, if you liked the video, like and subscribe. And uh, you can see this tractor in action later on. I gotta get it dug out tomorrow. It's raining and uh, won't fit out either way. So this is the end. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.